Today, I am beyond excited to talk to Erin, who is a first time mom and a participant of my signature program. And Erin had the most beautiful birth story and she accepted to share it with us today. So thanks so much for being here, Erin. Awesome. Thanks, Sophie. Uh, so Erin, you are the mom of Owen, uh, who is, how old is Owen again? Owen is just over five weeks now. Oh my God. Congratulations again. Uh, so I guess when you first contacted me, I think it was like in the summer. So you were like probably end of second trimester or, you know, beginning of your third. Um, so my first question for you is what prompts you to sign up for the program? Yeah, well, being a first time mom, it's all new and it's all so foreign and really overwhelming. Um, and so initially I had just wanted to sort of see what, see how my pregnancy went and then go from there about what resources I wanted to access. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, there was no prenatal access, like prenatal courses being offered at the time. And then as I sort of got further along in my pregnancy, um, I was just getting really overwhelmed with all the different suggestions about labor suggestions about pelvic floor like suggestions about how to manage your pregnancy like yeah it was just really overwhelming um and so i think initially i contacted you because i just wanted kind of one steady resource yeah and something to follow in that rather than having all these different things on instagram or social media or through other moms telling me their stories um i just wanted something concrete and um, from somebody that um, is knowledgeable and that I could trust was that I was getting, um, you know, sound advice. As it neared closer to my delivery, there was like fears developing about what labor would look like. Um, just hearing the horror stories and hearing the positives as well, but just wanting to ensure that I had a positive experience. What were those fears that you're talking about in the horror stories? Like what were your most deep, you know, fears about giving birth? I think the biggest thing was that it's all unknown. And for me, um, going into a situation like, like having Owen, I wanted to make sure I had, was, I was able to advocate for myself. Whereas I just felt like I didn't know what I was walking into and I didn't know how to voice what I wanted because I didn't know what I wanted and so some of those fears was also like a c-section I was really fearful I didn't want to have a c-section and I get that that has to happen and that's also absolutely valid birthing experience but for me I was just really worried and I wanted to do everything I could to avoid that wow. um, why I think part of yeah, why? I think part of it was that I was worried about that recovery, that six weeks recovery that you're told. Um, and a big thing for me was that I wanted to have Owen and be able to get back to everyday life as best I could. Right. Um, and I was that a C-section would be more, um, yeah, would be harder to do so. And I also just wanted the experience experience of having Owen vaginally and that was something that was important to me and yeah I wanted to see if I could get that outcome and you did you did yeah. uh, your dream came true and so how did your birth go can you share a little more about your story yeah um I think for everybody as a first time mom um it's it's all brand new so you're learning a lot and I think like my biggest learning was that I had a birth plan, but um, my whole birth plan changed. My birth plan didn't go according to plan, but because I had the education and the tools like through your course, I think I was able to navigate the changes without being coming overwhelmed. Can you yeah. give me a few concrete examples of um, some things that maybe didn't go according to plan and that uh, you use the knowledge from the program to help you navigate that? Yeah, I think like from the get go, um, Owen was six days overdue. He came on his own terms. <laughs> um, and so I had to be induced because I had developed preeclampsia. Mm. Um, when I was induced, rather than my contractions coming one every 20 minutes, right off the bat, I was one every one to three minutes. Um, and 
which seems overwhelming, but really like we had the breathing techniques that we worked on in the program and we had the different positions. So, you know, immediately I was able to move and figure out what felt good and what didn't feel good. And that really helped manage those contractions. I think if, if I hadn't had that, I would have been really overwhelmed right off the bat with that, those quick um, contractions without the break in between. So were you using some of the uh, pressure point techniques that um, I show for the birth partner to manage the pain? Yeah, and I think um, like those pressure points were great because it gave, it gave him something to do for one thing. Like um, I think, yeah, it's hard for the partner to just kind of sit there. Um, so it gave him something to do and it changed throughout. Like there would be moments where um, I really, I really liked having one of the pressure points and then it would switch like right off, like immediately. Um, <laughs> and just, yeah, yeah, I was like, get off. <laughs> um, and so I think for him also, because he they did the session with you as well. And so he was aware, like you kind of, you do forewarn that like, this is, these are great positions and try all these, but at the same time that it can change. Um, and so he also was prepared for that. And um, yeah, and so those really helped. And it was nice to have him involved as well. And talking more about the pushing part of your mm -hmm. birth, um, how did you feel during the pushing? Um, well, because I had been in labor for so many hours and I wasn't, um, and I wasn't dilating. And so um, we had this moment where the doctor came in and checked me and I wasn't dilating. And I had been in labor for over 20 hours mm. and um, they were going to give me Pitocin to try to get things moving along. And in that moment, like I did have that like devastating moment because I hadn't wanted an epidural. And at that point I just decided like I needed the epidural. It was nice that um, I sort of knew that, okay, like, coming along is going to be pushing and I want to push and I need to have energy to push and I want that experience to be still like I still want that experience so to have the epidural I was able to sort of think through rationally because I had the course and had those base knowledge I think it just makes making those quick decisions you're able to make them so I had the epidural and I think it just my whole body was able to relax I slept for about an hour and a half and I woke up and I was, it was push time. Like I had the, yeah, pressure. Um, and that was the thing is I still felt the pressure. I still felt everything. Mm -hmm. And the pushing experience was like absolutely amazing in that it was still hard. It was still painful, but um, I was able to, I was able to, I knew what to expect. <laughs> Initially, I didn't feel the initial contractions just due to the epidural, like the first two contractions. But then I was able to sort of identify like, when I was having the contractions and um, started to push on my own when I felt the contractions. And that was really um, empowering feeling to sort of like work with my body when it was happening. And then it got to the point where I was pushing and um, the baby was coming out, but they needed me to slow down. And so they um, asked me like, out of sort of like, we were in the momentum, pushing, pushing, pushing. And then all of a sudden it was like, stop, slow down um, and pause. And so in that moment, it was really like, I had known from your course that that might happen. And so as soon as I said that, like I knew what to do and I was able to stop. And um, that really avoided, I think more tearing like it because it just slowed the process down i felt really in control like it was a really really cool experience because like yeah everything had been to move him out and after laboring for so many hours you just like you finally have this ability to do something and so you want to keep pushing um but it was really nice because i just knew as soon as i said okay slow down like it was like okay like, i need to slow down and then when they said okay it's time to push I was able to push and had a very, really cool experience. And, and then he came out and I had really minimal damage. And I think largely the minimal damage was due to sort of that, um, that process during the actual delivery. 
and then also just all of the work that had been done beforehand with through the program amazing mm -hmm. wow such an empowering experience and also i think for a first time mom there's a lot of fear about because i've never done this before i will like for sure tear a bunch and uh -huh. you know like it'll be this experience where i'm out of control but it sounds yeah. like it was all the opposite for you yeah it really was like it i really did there were so many moments where like you it's out of your control but you can still have that control of your body and i think that's what i really yeah what i really valued through the process and can you talk a little more about the recovery? Like how have you been feeling? Cause now you are five weeks postpartum. Um, yeah. How are you feeling physically? Initially, like it is, it's a huge adjustment, especially going from pretty active lifestyle. And even throughout my pregnancy, I was really active. Um, and then that first initial week or two, like your whole body is just, it's just changed like it's it's recovering and accepting the fact that it's recovering yeah i think having the course to be like to remind myself that it's okay that you know for exercise you know a five to ten minute walk right off the bat is all you need to be doing and should be doing seeing that was good because it was so tempting like i did overdo it a few times where i would go for like that half hour walk and then be really sore and have some bleeding afterwards which um yeah, so it's just a nice reminder with the course that like it's okay to be where you're at and that that's the normal process and that it's not forever. Yeah, and I think because I had the course to follow along with, I didn't overdo it, whereas I think I might have overdone it had I not. Mm -hmm. um, and so now at five weeks, um, I'm feeling I'm feeling good. Like I still, you know, I have the, the weakness. I have things I need to work on like with through the programming with you, Sophie. Mm -hmm. um, but overall, like I'm able to get out and do the do my walks. I'm able to get out and carry Owen in the car seat around and not get sore. My big goal was to have that day to day return to sort of normalcy in my life, and I feel like that has happened. I think also having the follow up appointment with yourself, Sophie, to sort of examine everything is such a healing process in itself because there's a lot of fear about like what does like what does my vagina look like what does my pelvic floor look like um how damaged am i mm -hmm. and then have the appointment and sort of see that it's okay um was really sort of affirming that like we're okay and we're gonna be okay and we'll move forward yeah Aww. Well, thanks so much for sharing your story with us. It's, I'm sure it will help a lot of women to make that same decision of, oh, let's look at prevention. And, you know, it is possible to have an empowering birth when you are a first time mom. And have, I think it also sets you up for success in terms of your recovery, because the less damage, I don't like to use that yeah. word, but the less damage you create through birth and the faster you bounce back, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, so I guess as a last question, would you recommend the program to a pregnant friend of yours? I would absolutely recommend the program. I think if anything, it provides a knowledge base to move forward with so that you can make informed decisions. Yeah, you have this base of how to move forward. Um, so I would absolutely recommend it. I mean, what's awesome about the program as well is that you have lifetime access. So, you know, like come to a second child later, if that's your goal, you know, you'll still have all those tools that you have learned and that you can go back to. Yeah, absolutely. I'll use it. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much for sharing your story with us, Erin, and I wish you the best moving forward. Awesome. Thank you, Sophie.